Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? All right, very good. I can see some people are already here. Welcome to the class, everybody. Let's see, let's see. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? Um, more or less? More or less. Yes. Um, Why? Are you sick? <clears throat> yes, I'm probably. ¿Cómo se dice mejorando? Getting better. Getting better, like by poco a poco. Little by little. Little by little. Oh my gosh. All right, but <laughs> you are getting better, so that's good. All right. I'm yeah. happy to see you here. And I hope you get better totally soon, okay? Okay. Thanks. Very good. Welcome to the class. Let's See who else is there, Hector. How are you? Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, how do you good feel evening. today? I feel good. With a, a, little, a little hot. This is the weather, is hot, definitely. I know, humidity. I don't know. Say, humidity, uh, con mucha humedad, a lot of humidity. Yes. That is the one. Mm -hmm. And it, it, for 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 this situation, the 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 weather uh, uh, is, is like a I don't know. It's um, very hot. It's really sticky, hot. Sticky, like sticky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Def <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. In my city, is is the same. It's totally hot. <laughs> well, but you know, I'm used to because. In my city, it is hot all the time, <laughs> all the time all of the, time. the year, <laughs> of the time of the year. So maybe only in December and maybe some days in November is a little bit like fresh, but most <laughs> of the time is really hot. <laughs> so uh -huh. yeah. Okay, but uh -huh. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Let's teacher. See who else is there? I want to see you, everyone. If you are not sick, if you are not driving, I want to see cameras on, okay? I can see Jamie. Hello, Jamie, how do you feel? Hello, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And how, was, how was your weekend? It was so exciting. Tiring, why? <laughs> because I have uh, I have done so many activities in the home. For ah. example, make <laughs> make clean, uh, uh, take the shower for my dog. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of chores. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. That sounds tiring. Okay. But you are not <laughs> sick? No. Ah, that's great. Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad. I know everybody, I think that is because of the weather that most of the people is getting sick. But for the ones that are not sick, I'm happy for that. And the ones that feel sick, I hope you get better soon, everyone. So tell me, what did you do during the weekend, everyone? What do you do? Tell me, I want to listen. This is the moment for you to talk. What do you do during the weekend? Uh-huh, anything? You didn't do anything? Me, I went to a, a, a party, a birthday party from my son, little son. <laughs> ah. His friend, yeah, his friend uh, was a, a bird and I went to, to the party birthday and, party. Yeah, to the birthday <laughs> party. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds great. Did you eat cake? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay all yeah. right i love cake very good 
Sounds good. Uh, hi, anyone else? What did you do during the weekend? Tell me, what activities do you do? Teacher. Yes. And I'm close in the, your city. You know, Tehuacan. I visit, visit Tehuacan. Tehuacan. Where is it? You know it. You know it. No. Mm -mm, I don't it's think like, so. Um, it's like, how do you una zona protegida, un bosque. It's a forest, protect forest. Protected, yeah. Protected forest. And the I he uh, must there have uh como se llama como antigüedades o ruinas. I don't know how to say. Which one? Ruinas. Como ruinas. Uh -huh. You can say ruins. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's, it's, it's beautiful, but it's very hot. Close and to the uh, the volcano, uh, San Vicente volcano. Ah, it's interesting. It, it was was good, but very very hot. I imagine. Walker, we walker was walker was no walker a long 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 time under the hut <laughs> <laughs> i imagine san vicente is very very hot definitely very hot. yeah yes. definitely Beautiful. it was good i like that very good uh-huh anyone else did you do any interesting during the weekend no Studied English, for example, review the topics, finish the, the platform, the homeworks. Aha, uh -huh. let's talk about the homeworks, okay? Um, listen to everyone. Um, some of you already finished the week number one, so excellent job for the ones who finished. Remember that the idea, everyone, is that you have to get 100%. I mean, if you got 100%, that means excellent. If you got 80%, that is the minimum score that you can get. If you get less than 80%, that is bad. Okay? So... I'm sharing here the platform so you can see your scores. So some people haven't finished. Some people need uh, to work on the exercises, but most of you already got 100%. So excellent job for the ones who finished. Um, if you get 80, I mean, that is the minimum, but still is good. If you have less, then 80%, that is not good, okay? So that means that you need to improve, okay? So for the ones who hasn't finished, I mean, you have to work on it. I have people that they haven't even started and that is a little bit worrying. So I have, I'm sorry to say the names, but I have Carlos. Carlos haven't worked on the platform. Uh, Erica only has 10%, so you need to work on that. Gabriel, you haven't worked on the platform either. So I need you to start working and you have to work hard. With Ivan, if you see everyone, it's 79%. So it's just a little bit more to get the 80s. Okay. The rest of you look 100%, 100%, super good job. Then I got Oscar, haven't worked yet, so you need to work on it. And well, basically that, okay? For the rest, I think that we got it. So please, anyone, for the ones who hasn't started, do it, okay? Because remember, we are starting the week number two. That means that in this week, we are going to have new homework, okay? Today, you have to start working on the week number two. And if you haven't finished the week number one, you will have extra work. 
So that's why you need to work on the platform every day. Now, um, today we're going to start the unit, uh, the week number two, but I have great news. Do you know what will happen next week? We have a holiday. Ah, <laughs> very good. Exactly. So, so, <laughs> so yay, everybody. This is the motivation of the week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next Monday, we go on holiday. Okay. So we are going to work. We will have classes the full week. But the next Monday, we go to vacations. So please, let's try to stay in the class the full week. Be responsible, finish the platform, finish the week number two, and you can go on vacation and totally relaxed, okay? So, si se portan bien, si son responsables durante toda esta semana, no les voy a dejar homework, okay? Zero homework so you can relax the full week. But if you are irresponsible, si no me participan en clase, si se atrasan en la plataform, entonces sí voy a ver si les dejo por ahí bastantes homeworks extra, okay? Así que please be responsible. Quiero que se vayan tranquilos a la vacation. Quiero que descansen para que vengan con las pilas re bien recargadas, but hagan de su parte, ¿ok? Please. Well, let's start, everyone. I'm going to share the presentations for today. Let's see, let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Uh, Excellent. Okay, so today is March 27th, and we are basically starting the week number two. Now, I want to see if you remember little details about the topics that we studied the, uh, the last week. So, in the last week, we studied the quantifiers. Do you remember quantifiers? Yeah. Yes or not? Miss. All right, only one says yes, <laughs> and the rest of you, you forgot? Hmm. Okay, look, we got this exercise. I have here different sentences, and I have here different quantifiers. I have much, many, lot. Lot is the same of a lot of, it's the same. Then we have few little, any, no. So the last sentence is already answered. Come on, man. If you spend the little time you have on Facebook, you should really go to therapy. So what I need, I need you everyone to use these quantifiers to complete each sentence, okay? Be careful. You have to pay attention if it is countable or uncountable. For example, look at the number one. How ta -ta 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 -ta, friends do you have on Facebook? So what do you think? Can I say how much friends do you have on Facebook? Or what will be the correct word? How many? I think how many? How many? How many? Why? Because it's countable, ah. friends, it's plural. Very good. Look, I have the word friends. Plural. The word friends is countable and is plural. Very good job. So how many friends do you have on Facebook? Excellent job. Now look at the next sentence. I have a ta -ta -ta -ta, maybe 1,000. 
Hello, Raf. Hello. 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 Are you sure? A lot of. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yes, I have a lot. Maybe one thousand. But from all those Facebook friends, very ta 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 are my real friends. Hmm. You. Few. Do you agree, everyone? Very few are my real friends. What do you think? Very. Mm. Uh huh. Very few or very much, very any or very no are my real friends. What will be the correct answer? Very few. Very, very few. few. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. So I need you to be confident. If I ask you, are you sure? <laughs> of course, teacher, that's the correct <laughs> answer, okay? Be confident, you no, have the correct are... answer. No sé por qué dudan, I mean, it's like, será o oh, no? No, guys, you have to be confident. So, look, uh, so tell me about you, anyone. How many friends do you have on Facebook? Or you don't use Facebook anymore? Uh -huh. I have 1,000. 1,000, good. And the rest of you? 100, 1,000. <laughs> oh, 100. Oh and I goodness. thought, he's an influencer, I thought. <laughs> I eat free on, 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 on any restaurant. <laughs> Definitely. Hector, you're so popular. Yeah. <laughs> no, 100. I, I miss, I have a missing my name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the rest of you, anyone? How many friends do you have on Facebook? Around 200, I think so. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Around 200. 200, okay. Any influencer here? <laughs> and <No>. Jamie laughed. <laughs> uh -huh. Jamie, how many friends do you have on Facebook? Um, around 300. Wow, you see anyone? <laughs> very good, very good. So let's continue with the next sentence. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Well, well, I have some time for social. No, sorry. Uh, well, I have a lot of time for social networks because I'm always working. Thank you. So anyone, what do you think? Do you agree? No, I agree. So what do you think? Time. I have a lot of time. Or... I have no. I have, I have, I no have time. much time. Ah, okay. I have different answers here. Some of you say much, some of you say any, and some of you say no. No Remember? time. Uh -huh. No time. No time. No time because ah, it, it's working. always working. Yes. Correct. Very good job. Remember the rule, anyone? Any, it's only for negative sentences or questions. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I have. That is affirmative. Okay. That's why we use no so i have no time for social networks because i'm always working and look at the next one so i don't have what do you think any any friends at all do you agree everybody Actually, yes. yes. So look at the difference. Here it says I have, 
I don't have auxiliary. I don't have negative words. It's affirmative <clears throat> sentence. But look at in the next one. I don't. So I have negative. I have a sentence in negative. I have the auxiliary. That's why I can use the word <laughs> any. Okay. Now, volunteer for reading the next one, please. I don't have any time now either. <laughs> uh huh. But I already use I don't, any. Um, anything no. negative and question, yeah? Yes, no. but I already use any. Hmm. It's missing only one have. word. So mm -hmm. I don't have much. many. Much time. How much, mm. much. Much or many? If I'm talking about time, what is the best? It's much. Time is, un is uncountable. So? It's much. Good. So we are going to say, yeah. I don't have much time either because I work long hours too. But I think I'm addicted to Facebook, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> so anyone, are you addicted to any social network? TikTok is very popular currently. So <laughs> are you, do you think, or do you feel a little addicted to any social networks? Uh-huh. Yes, no, a little bit. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook or or which one? Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Okay. Yes. And the rest of you, anyone? Do you feel addicted to any social network? Uh-huh. No? Huh. Oh, me. You, oh, you don't, what happens is that they don't want to say. <laughs> All right, sometimes, very good. Sometimes Which, I feel I feel a little addicted about Twitter, but it's because the news or and well, some kinds of that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Twitter is very effective because you receive news very fast, right? Yeah. Very nice, okay. So, very good job. So this is about quantifiers. Now, we also studied some other quantifiers. We have lots, plenty of, little and few. So this is the continue, uh, is, is a continue part of the previous conversation. I have -da 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 -da, homework to do. What do you think? I have lots of homework or plenty of homework, little homework or few homework to do. Hmm. What do you think? We can use plenty of or lots because ah. homework is uncountable. Very nice. In this case, homework, yes, is uncountable. So you can use both. You can use plenty of homework or lots of homework. Very good. How about the next one? And very, uh -huh. little. Little very time. little time to do it. or very few time to do it or very lots time to do it lots lots time time is uncountable mm -hmm. over two and very little in this case is little because imagine you have a lot of homework to do plenty of homework but little time okay mm -hmm. Look at the next one. What kind of homework do you have? Trigonometry. Do you like that subject when you were at the school? <laughs> Did you <Yeah>. like it? <laughs> really? It sounds yeah. good. 
And the rest of you, anyone? Did you like trigonometry when you were at the school? Yes, no, a little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so, so. me neither. I didn't like it. I mean, I don't like math, but that mm -hmm. was like a nightmare for me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, next sentence. Volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. Don't worry. I have a lot, I think, of experience in math and science. All right, very good. And the last one, volunteer for reading. And? And I have a um, few hours to spare this afternoon. Would you like me to help? Excellent job, very good. So look at the contrast, okay? We have time and we have hours. Time is uncountable, but hours is countable, okay? So that is a little bit the difference. So everyone, excellent job with the quantifiers. So don't forget to always review the topics. Okay, so you don't forget it. Remember everyone, this is a topic that you can use every single day. So always try to review them. Now, another thing that we studied in last week was the strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. What was the meaning of lower prices? What was that? Uh huh. What is that the strategy? Lower prices with your own words. What is that? When when the companies put some offers in the product. All right. So the prices increasing or decreasing. 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 Great Decreasing. job. Exactly. Another strategy is the repackaging. What is that? What was the when meaning company, of uh -huh. when, com when company decide to um, make an offer or two for two for one and repackaging the the, the presentation, they need to, to do something with the product or because they need the, the product is declining and you need to you need to um the end the, the product or or maybe okay. repackaging okay. the the, uh -huh. the the imagine that the product for Bad. sell more. That's the one. So remember repackaging is just basically to present it in another way. When you change the image of a product, right? Excellent. You change the presentation. You decide you can give more product or less product. Excellent. Now, this continuation, what was the meaning of that word? Is when... Is when the owner or the company decide to disrupt the produce the product or to stop to sell. Excellent. That is the one. Very good job. How about innovation? Hmm, what is that? Innovation. Uh -huh. Innovation is a better better way the the products, for example, uh, packings, uh, technology, service. Nice, actually, that's true. Remember that innovation is every new idea that the companies have, right, to improve their product. Nice. And the last one, co-branding. Hmm, what is that? Uh, 
is when when two or more companies decide to collaborate between them mm -hmm. and to try to do the best the product. Ah, very good. Exactly. So two companies working together to create a new product or to improve a new existent product. Nice. Very good job. Very good job. Now, um, let's see if you remember this vocabulary. Whimper. What was that? Whimper is similar at price. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Then we have profit. Prophesics meaning benefits. Benefits, yes. What else? Another synonym for profits? Yeah. Mm, increase the, the, the money. Good, basically. Remember, we have profits talking about money that you get. So if I say the sales had dipped, what is that? Sales had dipped. The the sales uh, stopped. Ah, very good. And basically, they decreased, right? Yes. Now, looking over its shoulder. Hmm, what is that? When the when is is worry about that. Uh -huh. That's correct. When you worry a lot, when you think something bad is going to happen. So you are, I oh, know it's going to happen something terrible. So that mm -hmm. is looking over your shoulder. Disrupt. What is that? Discontinue. Uh -huh. Exactly. Discontinue. Stop interrupt very good and the last one revenues what is that uh-huh yes, you when you earn money <laughs> all right or, yeah. and what is the difference between revenues and profits what's the difference okay. Profits is before the taxes and revenues after after taxes is the the real money that the owner have in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you, you have the idea, but it's the opposite. So revenues is the money that you earned okay. in your business, but profits is when you pay everything, <laughs> their taxes, the money that you invested and the money that is still with you, that is profits. So profits. you got the idea, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. very good everyone. I can see you remember the vocabulary. I love it, very good job. Now, we practice these questions, okay? So I will be asking individually just to see if you remember. Ay, a quien, a quien. I need a volunteer. Who wants to be the first one? Only one volunteer, please. Ah, nobody. Okay, I'm going to ask Ivan because he, Ivan weren't here in the class last Friday. <laughs> uh -huh. I am here in the last classroom. <laughs> Uh -huh. no, 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 you cierto. took you took vacations, Ivan. Hmm. No, no, I, I teacher, este, I, I had a I had a problem in my in my family. Oh my gosh! No, but, um, uh, relax. No, no. Is everything okay now? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Well, Ivan, tell me four steps in the product life cycle. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Ya ven por qué no hay que faltar a clases, right? You see? <laughs> Ivan, you can do it. I'm going to give you the first one. 
The first one is marketing introduction. Ah, okay. Marketing introduction. Man, man. Mentoring. Mentoring. No, no, no. Mantenerse, no, no, no. man, man, charity. Mm. My goodness. <laughs> Maturity. Maturity, thank you. Maturity. Introduction ah. marketing, market, maturity. Um, that's a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Sorry, sorry. Decline, remember. Okay, decline. The opposite of decline? Este. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Hi, Ivan. Can't tell me, please. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Okay, everyone. Which one is missing? Uh huh. Help Girl. him. Girl. That is the one. Grow. So, mm. Ivan, review the vocabulary. Okay, Ivan, pick someone, please. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Uh, my friends, Hector. <laughs> Hector, hello, Hector. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, Hector, uh, tell me five strategies to handle the decline stage. Lo acabamos de ver. Five strategies to handle the decline stage. Uh, buy, buy one, get one free. Okay. Mm, but that is a strategy to handle with the marketing saturation. To handle the decline stage, I'm going to give you a clue. The first one is lower prices. What is the next one? <laughs> Lo acabamos de ver. Lower prices. Uh -huh. Help him, uh, everyone. Please help me, please. Repackaging. <laughs> Repackaging, yes. This continuation. Good job. Uh huh. Innovation. Good. And the last one? Co branding. That's Co -brand. the one. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Please, everyone, don't forget the vocabulary. Okay, now we are going to start the week uh, number two with the unit number two. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. Okay, so when you listen to your names, please say present. Carlos Abrego? No? Oh, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Christian Alexander? Oh, Christian is here, but he's listener, right? Okay. Erika Jasmine. I think that she's, yes. Thank you, Erika, very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Thank you. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Excellent. Ivan Guzman. Yeah, here. Good. Jamie Escobar. Present. Nice. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Juarez. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson eh, Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present. Excellent. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Very good. Selvin Adonai. 
And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good job. Okay, excellent, everyone. Let's start with the week number one. I'm sorry, week number two and the unit number two. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, yes. I see. Excellent. Okay, everyone, the topic for today is the letter piece of marketing mix. So the idea is to find the definition, what is marketing mix? And in the marketing mix, there are letter P's. And we are going to find out what are the meanings for all the letter P's, okay? So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Uh, me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Oh, class objective. To identify the main element uh, elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product or service. Thank you. So that is what we are going to do right now. So I have a question for you. Look at this. What do customer wants for a service or a product? For example, you, you as a customer, what do you want from a product? What do you want from a service? What do you expect? What do you think? Well, the product uh, needs to have the three Bs. <laughs> uh -huh. Which one? High quality and low price. Quality, low prices, and I don't remember. Okay. And what um, else? Good fashion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? What else? So imagine a service. For example, if you go to a restaurant. Disponibly. I'm sorry? Disponibly. Okay. High disponibility. Mm -hmm. High disponibility? That's what you mean? The, a else? lot of product or service. Ah, very good. Uh huh. Anything else? Maybe a customers want that the product um, will have a really good flavor flavors. Ah, very good. Exactly. You want high quality right mm -hmm. high quality okay now think about your favorite products for example think about your favorite brands for cell phones think about your favorite restaurants um, your favorite ice cream your favorite sodas okay think about your favorite products how is that product different to the products of competition? So think about if you say, I, my favorite restaurant is Pollo Campero. Okay, what is the difference? How is this service different to another restaurant from the competition? If you say, I, I love iPhones. Okay, how this product is different to the competition? What do you think? Ah, the, quality, the price, the uh huh. The quality, why? Maybe the flavor, sabor. Uh huh. Flavor. Okay, since it's better. All right. Who else? What about you, everyone? Fried potatoes from what is teacher? Have okay. a, have a skin. I don't know how to say. Yes. The, uh -huh. The skin, uh, when it's fried, it is it's good because it's, it's natural. Ah, so very compared good. Compared to another fries without the skin, I think it's like a mashed potato. Mm -hmm. mashed very fried good. mashed potato. Yes. 
I don't just, like the yeah. political difference. I like people who rise uh, from Wendy's. Ah, that's a very good point. So imagine in Wendy's you feel that it's a little bit more natural than from the other restaurants. Excellent, very good. And the rest of you, anyone? What is, a, what is your favorite product different to the products of competition? In my case, my favorite brand in the shoes is a uh, Hosh Poppy. Mm -hmm. The brand is a uh, locator or, or national. Mm -hmm. um, what is the difference the other uh, brands, uh, other competition? In, in my opinion, is uh, colors, uh, quality, uh, durability, and the time. Okay. Actually, that's a good observation too. Very good. And actually the comfort, those uh, shoes right. are very comfortable. Very comfortable, right. Very good, very good. So anyone else think about your favorite products and tell me what is the difference with the competition? Me teacher and yes. my, in my opinion, I. I, my favorite product of ice cream product is the from Boston or mm -hmm. because okay. I think that okay. that Boston have more quality than Neveria or or Sarita for example because the consistent of the ice cream is is more is is better than than other in my opinion is all right my, it's, my it's more delicious Yes, it's more delicious, the flavor, and and I don't know how do you say the reti? Melt. <laughs> melt. Melt, yes. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to melt when you buy the, this, this ice cream. Ah, very good yeah. point. Excellent. So if you see anyone, you are talking about what you expect from a product. In all your comments, are very useful when we are talking about marketing, okay? So that is what we are going to talk right now. Imagine we have the term marketing mix. How would you describe that word? I need a volunteer for reading the definition, please. Uh -huh. teacher. Yes, please. It consists of everything that a company can do to influence demand for its product. It is also a tool to help marketing, planning, and execution. Thank you. So anyone, pay attention to this definition. Marketing mix. What is that? All the activities that a company can do to basically sell the product, okay? So imagine, for example, uh, your classmate, she loved the ice cream because it is not so easy to melt. So imagine if La Neveria listened that comment, they will say, hey, we need to create a better ice cream, an ice cream that is not so easy to melt. That's a comment. Imagine your classmate mentioned, ah, this type of shoes has more durability. So the, competitor, uh, the competitors listen and say, hey, we need to change. We need to do something to influence to the customers to buy our products, okay? So that is marketing mix. Now, when we are talking about marketing mix, we are going to find some elements that we need to learn. So for that, we are going to read this conversation. If you have your manual, it's in the page 17. So let's go to the manual. We have Diana. Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. Okay, so we are going to read this interview 
and we are going to find a new vocabulary. So again, I will need two volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me, me. Thank you, me. Ivan. Me, and Lucy. Okay, I think Lucy said first, sorry. Okay, <laughs> Ivan, you are team. Lucy, you are Diana. Go ahead. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. Inevitably. Inevitably. That is the one. Very good. Very good. Okay. Continue, please. Okay. That's right. Target to market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Define. Define. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, to put, to put in plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Now, let's see these questions. With your own words, what is... This, what does target your market mean according to the conversation? Think about that. Target your market. What is that? It's when you select your, your market or the people or the audience when you, when you, when you um, sell a product or when you introduce a product. Very you good job. Imagine exactly like that. So target your market means you have to define who is going to be your customer, who is going, the, who's going to be the people that is going to buy your product. So for example, imagine that I want to sell laptops. Okay, so what do you think? Who is going to be my target market? Do you think that people from 80 years old is going to be my target market? What do you think? No, not really. How about kids from five years old? Maybe. For laptops? Mm. Mm, who could be my target market? Could be a student of the market the Could be. Uh huh. I think uh, people working in the office, for example. Very People, good. The students. Yes, the exactly. In the university and the school. Good. Students and workers. Those are my target markets. So that is the meaning for that word. You have to define who you are selling to. Very good job. Okay, second question. What does each of four P's stand for, according to the paragraph. We have four P's. Can you tell me which of the four P's are? Yes. This. Which one? Uh -huh. Yes. Price. Uh-huh. Product. Yes. Uh, place. Yes. And promotion. Good job. Very good. So here we got the four P's. Now, the last question. How would you describe marketing mix with your own words? What is that? Is 
Anyone? Maybe, maybe it's about using the four P's in the product. Aha, uh -huh. excellent. We are using the four P's to improve our product. Very nice job, excellent. So, according to that conversation, now let's see the vocabulary, specifically the four letter P's. The marketing mix can be divided into four groups. The first one is product. The next one is price. Then place or promotion. So anyone, in this moment, I want you to read the definitions and tell me what is the correct match. For example, product. What is the definition for product? What do you think? The last one. The last one. Can you read it, please? I don't know. What can I promote? Merchandise. Uh, the merchandise or services offered by a company to its customers. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, miss. Perfect. Excellent job. Now, when we are talking about price, what is that? Um, the amount, the of, amount, money, of, the money. amount of money pays by customer to purchase the products. Good job. Now, place. What is that? The activity that made the product available to customers. Okay. Anyone? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Very good. And the last one, promotion. Uh-huh. Policy for reading? The activities? The, the activities that communicate the product's future and benefits that help everybody customers to post the product. Thank you. That is the meaning for these four letter P's. So in the next class, I can ask you, okay, anyone tell me the four P's of the marketing mix, product, price, place, and promotion. And if I ask you, okay, what is the meaning of a product? Ah, is the merchandise or the service that a company offers to the customers. Okay, so I need you to Keep the vocabulary in mind. Now, we are going to try to understand these four letter P's. Imagine that you have a restaurant and you want to sell hamburgers, okay? You are uh, selling hamburgers and you can see that there are a lot of fancy or picky eaters. Do you know what picky eater means? Do you know what is that? Picky eaters? No? Teacher, I don't understand questions. Do you know what is the meaning for picky eater? Like delicate. Exactly. That people that they don't eat. <laughs> so many different type of food. In Spanish, this is like quisquillosos, right? They don't eat, for example, uh, if you give them una torta, <laughs> uh, they are like, no, I don't like that, okay? If you say, hey, vamos a comer tacos ahí en la calle, they say, ooh, no, <laughs> right? Those are, Picky eater, okay? So, are, exactly. Are you picky eater? Anyone? I, 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 I understand the, the, the word, uh, este es picky, este bien picky. Yeah, in, actually we use that word in Spanish, right? And exactly we say este bien picky. So that's the meaning for that. So it's, 
selective. The word, the word picking in Spanish eh, eh, es, eh, ¿cómo es que lo dicen? Eh, lo, cuando agarramos palabras del inglés y las, eh, y las metemos en el español, ¿cómo se llama eso? We copy that word. There is a specific term that is like como un préstamo, maybe, that we take from other languages and we introduce it into Spanish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So imagine, okay. in, imagine in this case, you want to sell hamburgers and the customers that you have around you is a picky eater. So what will be the characteristics of your product? ¿Qué necesita su producto? What do you need? What does your product need to have? Quality. We need quality. Packaging. I, I, so the packaging, the packaging has to be very nice. Se good tiene que ver así with a good presentation. Exactly. How about the price? It must be cheap. <laughs> cheap or expensive? Cheap. Cheap. Why? Expensive because it's picky it here. <laughs> Imagine. The people, the people oh. need uh, products, uh, chips. <laughs> okay. But think about this. If you have to have a very good packaging, a very good presentation, high quality in the products. Is that cheap or is that expensive? It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. So, si me va a salir caro preparar el producto, ¿puedo darlo barato? No. Not really, right? So, if I'm going to invest a lot of money in quality and in packaging, in the design, so... What will happen with the price? It's it has high. to be a little bit high, right? It has to be a little bit expensive. Okay, what will happen with the promotion? So where do I need to pause the advertisement? Do you think that I need to paste posters on the street? Is that going to work? Depending depend the products. Um, actually, uh, the promotion is, uh, for example, social media. Ah, very good job on social media, right? If we are talking about a very fancy food, like a, for picky eaters, a nice idea will be on a fancy magazine, right? So they can watch it there. And now let's think about the place. Where will be a nice location to sell our product? In the park? What do you think? Or on the street? No. Or, or where? In fashion uh, markets or in fashion place like uh, Gran Vía, I don't know. <laughs> ah, very good. We are talking about picky eaters. They don't eat on the street, right? They will visit like very elegant places or nice malls, as your classmate said, in La Gran Vía, for example, all right? Do you understand, everyone, how we can use the four-letter piece? Yes, clear, a little bit. Okay, I will give you another example. Let's change the target market. Imagine that I want to sell hamburgers here in my city, but in my city, I have a lot of hippies <laughs> and they don't eat meat, okay? So they are my target market, okay? So what happens to my product? ¿Qué necesita tener 
mi product para atraer a este target market, que en este caso son hippies and they don't want meat, they are peace and love, you know, they don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so tell me, my product, what characteristics do my product need to have? The, the target market is a hippie, right? Yes, they are my target okay. market. I think a uh, hamburger con flavor marijuana. <laughs> okay, weed with a lot of weed. <laughs> I think that that is not yeah. that yeah. hamburger. <laughs> with hamburger, I like that. I don't think that that is legal, but yeah, that's a good idea. What else? Do you think that I need to have a very Picky or fancy packaging? No. Not really, right? Can can no. I offer vegetarian hamburgers? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yes. So, do you think that I can give the product very expensive? No. No. No, really, because they don't have like a lot of money. So, what do I need to do with my price? very cheap so if i'm going to give a very cheap product so how will be the quality low quality low quality is not going to be perfect it's not going to have a very fancy packaging all right so what promotions can i give to attract their attention so for example, what your classmate said, like add a little of weed. <laughs> I mean, that's a good promotion. It's not legal, but that could be a nice idea. What else? The hippie like uh, music and for, I think uh, on the concerts, uh -huh. diversity, for example. Very good idea. Excellent, that's a good idea. And not about the places. Where should I sell the product? Can I sell my product in La Gran Vía? Not necessary. Not really. So where? In Maybe street, in the, the, the park. In the streets, in the park. In the park. At the beach. At the beach. Very good idea. Beach, beach. Out of the oh. universities, maybe, right? Close the place that they are visit because it's a specific place that they visit. I think it's a like a bar or like a city. Very yeah. good, exactly. Nice job. So if you see everyone, when we are thinking about the four P's, the first things that you need to do is to identify your target market. That's the first things that you have to do. So for example, ah, I'm going to sell, why, I don't know, ice cream. That is your product. Okay, the first things that you need to do is to think, who is going to be your target market? When you know, who your target market is, you start to think, okay, ¿qué tiene que tener mi product? All right? How is going to be the quality, the packaging, and all those things. Then you need to think the price, how much. And also in the price, you can think about if you can offer some discounts, some uh, specific promotions maybe. Then in the promotions, remember that this is for public advertising. Are you going to post it, uh, I don't know, on Facebook or social media, or I'm going to, sh are you going to show these products on the streets? I don't know. And then the place, where, where are you going to sell the product? So is it clear? how the four P's works? Anyone? Is it clear? Yes? No? 
Yes. 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 Okay. Now, if you are totally clear with that, let's do an exercise. But this is going to be in groups. I have here different words. And I want you to decide where do I need to put these words? So you just need to classify them. For example, I have product and I have the word designed. So where do I need the word design? In product, in price, place, or promotion? What do you think? El diseño, con quien creen que va? En que categoría va? El designed. Product. In product, are you sure? In promotion? In promotion, are you sure? Okay. I wanted to be confident. <laughs> Product. In product, exactly. So the design, it has to be related with the product. So that is what I want you to do. So then you have discounts. Where are you going to classify discount? Retail location, public relations. So that is what I want you to do right now. I just want you to classify all these words into the right letter piece. Is it clear, the idea, everyone? Yes? ¿Se entiende lo que van a hacer? Yes. 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 Okay. So we are going to go right now to the breaking rooms. Okay, we are going to do these teams. I want you to give your ideas and explain why. So for example, if you think, yo creo que el discount is in price. Okay, why? If your classmate said, no, I think that goes in the uh, products. Okay, why? Okay, so try to make a decision. I'm sending that picture on WhatsApp's group so you can see it. And we are going to be working in teams of three. Well, some teams will be in group of four because of the amount of people. If you are in a group where you are alone or nobody is talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Okay? So everybody, let's go to work. Remember in this moment, I don't want you to talk in Spanish. Okay? Only full English. Let's go to work. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Jamie. Hello. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, do you, do you want to share your screen with uh, our work? Maybe with... Um, I don't know in the world or I don't know in what. Uh, because I I am driving now. I am Okay, I, okay, I going to, ten to my house. Okay. okay, I going to I going to uh, I going to read the exercise. <laughs> I get, I get it. The magic. Okay, I'm going to read the exercise. Each of the four PA, PA. Um, around three, three, four, for, for each, for each. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, Isabel. Isabel. Uh, 
The first okay. is product. The design. first design, uh -huh, mm -hmm. in product. The personal selling, I think, is promotion. Say, say, say selling, no es como vender. Selling, personal selling. I think is um, the personal to promote the product. Example, um, Simon, when the, the missus sell the make. make. Yes, uh, discounts, discounts. Mm. Yes, 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 you're, you're, ah, you're discount. Right, that, that it's way. for the price, mm. maybe. What do you think about promotion or oh. price? Promotion is when you when you want to sell the product, when you want to sell, and price is for the money, the price of the product. Uh, I believe that is the price. I think so. Okay. The next uh, word is precise location. Place. Could you repeat that, please? Precise location. So location is the place. It's if the you place. are speaking about the location, is place. Yes, it's the place. The next word is public relation. Nice. Public relation. I don't know what uh, I don't know what say Herman. Is is he agree? What do you say? Good brand name. Uh, payment payment plans. Payment plans also. Yes, it's price. Yes. Because it's a it's a way for for pay the the service of the products, no? Yes, it's the method of payment. The method, or, the method, yes, uh, or plans, yes. Yes, it's, and place we have personal selling, retail location, personal uh, inventory and transportation. It is right? Place, uh-huh, because and the place. personal selling, yeah. Personal selling, retailer, retail location, location and inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, in promotion, we have public relation In and advertising. advertising. Just two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah, only two. Okay. In price, discount, payment plans, and credit terms. Um, brand, brand name. Uh huh. Design package in pro brand name. Uh, yeah. Packaging and mm -hmm. design. Uh, brand name design. Another three yeah okay you are finished no? yes quickly. <laughs> difficult or easy <laughs> because good. understand before the topic yeah, yeah. Is a <laughs> so you already feel the misses play us very well today <laughs> no the, the, this, this miss is nice explain Hi, thank you. Clear. I'm going to give extra point to this team. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to check another team because you are the first team that finished. I'm going to check the other ones and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. 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 Very yes. good. You can continue talking in English, please. Yeah. Okay. Zero okay. Spanish. Yeah. Maybe, please. Maybe. I what think do you think? Place. Really? Okay. I agree. Invent. The brand name. Brand name. Brand name. In the mm. product, maybe. Yeah.
in transportation. The place, maybe. Place, place. Uh -huh. Transportation. Okay, we think that is the correct promotion. Promotion is it's promotion. Packing. You are packing. You are, you... Product. Packing is for packing packing. product. Yeah, packing is for product. Payment plan. Product. Payment plan what? is right. Payment plan. Payment plan. Plan is the power. Same. Precio, precio promotion. No promotion, no. Price. Price, va. Ok. Uh, Credit term, términos de crédito, price. 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 Inventory. Product. Product. Transportation. Yes. Transportation. Ajá. Uh -huh. Transportation. Play. Lugar. Place. Transportation. Place. place, maybe. Place. It's okay. <laughs> I, I believe that is that is all. <laughs> we finish? Finish. Yes. Okay, very good, everyone. You finished? Yes, we do. <laughs> Excellent. <I'm with> okay. <laughs> very good. Let's go back to the main room and we are going to check if the answers are correct or not. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, let's go back, everyone. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's wait for everybody. Some people are still in the breaking rooms. Let's go back, everyone. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, how was the practice? Was it easy or difficult to classify these words? What do you think? Easy or difficult? Difficult. Difficult, okay. And the rest of you? Easy or difficult, the exercise? Interesting. Okay. Oh. Intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, super good because I liked it that you were practicing. You were talking in English. That's what I liked the most. Now, let's verify if your answers are correct or not. So, the first word designed. Do you remember where do I need to put designed? Product. Very Product. good. Product. So the product needs to have a design, okay? The next word is discount. Hmm, so where? Price. 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 Okay, very good. Then I have retail location. Hmm, what is that? Place. Place. In place. Definitely. Very good. Okay. How about public relations? In promotion. promotion. Are you sure? Promotion. 
Yes. Very good, exactly. Yes. Nice job, everyone. Very good. Let's continue with the next one. Advertising. Everybody, what do you think? Promotion. Promotion. Too. In promotions too? Yes. Very good. Then we have brand name. Hmm. Product. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I will be asking individually. Um, let's see. I'm going to ask to 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 to, to, to Hector. Okay. The next word is personal selling with your team what did you decide personal for, selling for my team and uh, is promotion promotion do you agree everybody yes i agree no no we put in per in place okay and the rest no, of you everyone it's... Uh -huh. In my opinion, it's price, maybe. Hmm, okay. I think it's promotion. Promotion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some people say promotion, some people say price, some people say place. The correct one actually is in promotion. promotion. Personal selling, okay? Then let me ask to someone else. Let me pick someone. Fatima. Fatima, packaging. What did your group decide? Is in product. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Actually, that's the correct one. Okay, let me ask to Rosalina, the word payment plans. The payment plans in price. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, of course. Yes, yes I agree. Definitely, yes. very good, very good. Let me ask to Holman, credit terms. <clears throat> price price everybody do you agree yes yes yes, yes. remember this is related with payments with money very good okay how about inventory hmm what do you think everyone Place. Place. Ah, very good. And the last one, transportation. Place. 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 Yes. yes. So if you want to try to understand a little bit this topic, just think about these related words. Very good classification, anyone, excellent job. Now, we're going to have a practice and for this activity, everyone pay a lot of attention, okay? We are going to work in teams again. Listen, I want you to think about national product, okay? It has to be something from our country okay a national product you can decide a product or a service so for example it can be if you don't want to talk about a product well it can be for example a service like restaurant or delivery for example i don't know so service or you can decide for to go for a product. For example, in the previous classes, some of your classmates uh, talk about Pilsener, that is a product, okay? So think about a national product or service. So I want you to identify the, the uh, elements of the four letter P's of the marketing strategies. So how? How are you going to do this? 
I'm going to give you an example and similar to my example, that's what I want you to do. Pay a lot of attention, please. I'm going to pick first the national product. I'm not going to talk about a service. I'm going to talk about a product. And I'm going to talk about la nevería. <laughs> Do you know this product? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. The first things that I need to identify is the product. So when we are talking about the product, if we go back, what do you mean with a product? Ah, we are talking about the design, the brand name, the packaging, okay? So, okay, let's talk about the product in La Neveria. Well, you know, in the product, of course, they offer a lot of types of ice cream. But nowadays, they are giving you the option of light ice cream. That they said that this ice cream is for diabetic people, you know, because this ice cream doesn't have like a lot of sugar. I don't know if it is true, but they offer that product, okay? Also, they are giving you another option. They are giving you yogurt ice cream. So if you don't like the typical ice cream, they are giving you another option. And they change the design. Sometimes they offer you different type of cups where you can get the ice cream. Okay, so look at this. I'm just talking about the product, the different type of products that they offer to different target markets. So look at this. I have target markets, diabetic people or the people who wants to be fit. I have a um, target market for people who loves yogurt and I'm talking about the design, okay? product. Now, let's talk about the price. Well, in this case, La Neveria, right? Oh, and also they are offered, I forgot, in the products, they not only sell ice cream, now they are also selling cakes. So imagine this is only about product. Okay, let's talk about the price. Do you know that La Neveria is not like the best ice cream in the country? but they offer lower prices. So comparing to Boston ice cream, I mean, La Neveria is cheaper. Of course, the quality in Boston is a little bit higher, but the prices in La Neveria are a little bit lower. They also offer like some uh, different prices depending on the products and the promotions that they have. Let's talk about the place. Where can you find La Neveria? You can find La Neveria almost everywhere. <laughs> In some malls, if you go to Metro Centro, you will find La Neveria. If you go to Multiplaza, you will find La Neveria. If you go to the park, you will find La Neveria, right? So it's almost everywhere. But also you can find their products in some grocery stores, in the gas station, eh, in some drug stores, or when you go to the supermarket, you can find their products too. Okay, so they offer the products everywhere. Now, promotions. When we are talking about the promotions, how do they offer the products? Do you know, they offer different um, you know, promotions like two for one, oops. And if you go on Facebook, you will find a lot of our advertising about La Neveria. If you um, go to Instagram, you will find a lot of advertising about it. If you go driving in the highway, you can see a lot of uh, signs talking about the La Neveria. So that is the promotions that they have. A lot of advertising everywhere. 
Okay, so if you see, I what was my product? La Neveria. I talk about the product, the price, the place, and the promotions that they offered. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes. So, yes. okay, yeah. that is exactly what I want you to do. Okay, so instead of La Neveria, elijan otro. Puede ser un product or a service. And tell me, okay, tell me about the product that they offer. Tell me about what are the prices. Tell me about the places. And tell me about the promotions. Is it clear, the activity, everyone? ¿Se entiende? Yes, ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Everybody, is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Oh. Any questions before going to the breaking rooms? No? Mm, okay, I hope so. Okay, let's go to work. Remember in this moment, zero Spanish, everyone. Everybody talk in English. If you are alone in a group, let me know so I will switch you to another team. Uh, Ivan, do you have a question? Oh, no. No, is it clear? Yes, okay. it's clear. Very good. Okay, everybody, let's go to work. And then we are going to share the information in the group. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, what product or service we are going we are going to choose? Uh, one idea? I am thinking. Hmm. Ideas about product? It's a product or a service that this, this, this product is... Okay, national product, say, no? National product. Okay. Um, pronoun. Uh, she used the neveria, and I think maybe snacks. I don't know, called churritos in English, because it's mm -hmm. the brand name Bocadelli and Diana, and what else? It's too much. Mm -hmm. But it's one idea. I don't know the the other guys what think about it, and you. Jamie? Uh, like a, to be a cafeteria, for example, coffee cup. Ah, coffee cup, uh, yeah. Starbucks. Starbucks, Mr. Dono, restaurant. Mr. Dono. Oh, it's a restaurant, yeah. Uh, another national product. Remember that we don't have a lot of time, so try yes, to yes, yes. pick one fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right. every everybody okay. in the group try to participate. We got Christian too. We got Erica. I think that Erica cannot talk, but Erica, if you can help in the chat, you can also do it. No problem. Okay, Oscar. I think that Oscar is a listener, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Christian, okay. do you have yes. one idea? I think the coffee is good. Yeah, maybe. It's mm -hmm. quickly. Coffee cup, uh, Cafe Valdez, Coffee Valdez. No? Teacher, I have a question. It's uh, just one product, one brand, or we can talk about uh, many brands? Only one. Only one because if ah, okay. you talk about more, <laughs> it is more work. So, for example, yeah, 
Uh, if you say, ah, I'm going to talk about coffee, and you talk about coffee cup, uh, Juan Valde, no, it's a lot of work. So only one, keep it simple. Okay. okay and, coffee cup, cappuccino mm -hmm. coffee, for example. In general, for example, uh, if general, you, okay. for example, if you're going to talk about coffee cup, okay, that is the product. That is what you are going to talk. What is the product that coffee cup offers? Uh, yeah, ah, coffee, perfect. dessert. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, you got and... the idea. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Jamie. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, yes. How how do you say is um a station promotion for December? Mm. Like travel. Mm. Uh, Seasonal, 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 seasonal yes. uh, offers. Yes. Okay, let's do it with that uh, panes coyo if you want. So we have to put. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Away is more is is more cheap when you take away when you difference is is like a a one dollar for okay. for the combo. Okay, but the price in general the price in general is low price yes because the campero or or another it, chicken. It, it's a a good price. It's a, a standard standard price it's not expensive and and not cheaper yes yeah, it's, it's accessible it's okay. okay yes it's okay the price and place i i i just remember that does we have one store in the town is is okay. the same it's the same place just one from the store and promotion, I don't remember that they have a promotion or yes, when you when you buy a, a, a double combo. So the meet uh, hi teacher. Hi, what is the product, anyone? It's like a bakery, Anthony's Bakery. It's a, some kind of sweet bread, desserts. But we need to know how, what is the correct name for reposteria. Hmm, let's see. I think that is bakery. Bakery. Okay. Or, or you can say, yeah, you can say bakery or pastries. Pastries, that's the name. Yes. yes. Pastries. Uh is is I'm I'm sending in the chat. With yeah. with why? With the letter I, pastries. Ah, okay, with the letter I. Uh -huh. I E S. Pastries. Mm -hmm. okay. And another question, teacher. Can you share the picture of the different questions about the product? Oh, okay. Look at this. This? What do you mean? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So talk about the product. Tell me about the price. Tell me about the place and the promotion. Only that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, the price. It's kind of cheap. That is because um, a pastry is a little piece of sweet bread. The price is very uh, como accesible. Um, Available. 
cheaper. Available. Or if you are talking like un precio accesible, you can say affordable price. Affordable oh. price. Affordable okay. price. How do you how do you write that? Teacher? Yeah, I'm sending in the chat right now. Affordable price. Uh huh. Affordable, affordable price. Affordable. That is the most common. Some people say accessible price, and it's correct too. But affordable price is the most common one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Affordable. But I think in that in in this in this part we need to put the the price like uh five dollars one dollar or just the the mean it's not necessary to write the price you just tell me okay the, you said that the price are affordable okay do they offer discounts or mm. not what do you think? Ah, okay. Yes, they offer discounts in ah. Anthony's Bakery because they sell the group of pastries and All right. at the lower at the lower prices. Very good, very good. Could Imagine... you could you repeat? I lost for take notes. They in Anthony's Bakery they sell the group of pastries like a a basket of pastries at the lower prices. I don't know what is pastries. It, that is the is the word that the teacher shared in the chat. Pastries. Like like. <laughs> yes. Como la repostería. Saw, uh, uh, yes. Uh -huh. So, okay, so you got the idea about affordable prices, discounts, good. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to the next one. What is the next P? The next point is place. the place. Very good. So, remember, when well. we are talking about the place, we are talking about the location, if they mm -hmm. offer transportation. So, remember that for this, also, when we are... Delivery, do they offer delivery or not? So that's what you need to tell me, okay? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, and then? Can check your gourmet. Uh -huh. Promotion, um, promotion is a... American Extra Gourmet. Promotion? Yeah. If you pay um, a more, more, more money, you pay yeah. 25 cents more, you change the size of the coffee, no? Um, uh, the coffee, uh, 80 ounce, Eight plus ounce? Uh, play the pie for the $4.75. Uh, it's a promotion? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, for, for, for seventy-five cent dollar. Four seventy-five for each. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what well, the uh, coffee plus a uh, pie? The ah apple. yeah yeah like a combo. Uh huh. Yeah yeah. Okay. It's a promotion. Yeah. Ah, talking we, about we can, we can say Amy. that they offer uh -huh. combos. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the afternoon may uh, uh, offer Coffee plus promotion. Uh -huh. Okay, I know only that two promotion. That one in in car for loyalty, custom, food stamp. That is, I, I don't know. Remember another promotion? Only the flyers. Uh, Jamie said because uh... when you buy, you buy um, either flyers, no. Ah no, I remember. Uh, in the in the office, some sometimes the ladies pick at the the coffee and go office for office and offer the coffee. I remember. All oh. the the bread with turkey, the drink, or maybe a uh... no, no, it's different. It's different. You buy. Uh, but they have crumbles or no? 
like like when you buy a hamburger, you do you, you buy the combo. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, we don't have a lot of time. Most of the teams are finishing. So let's, you already got two ideas with the price. Let's move on to the next one. What is the next letter P? Put the metal pay is effective or oh no, cash or credit card. Like oh, Okay, but let's move on to the place, okay? Because we don't have like a lot of more time. The place is just one in Antigua Cucatlán. They have many, many places in different. It's just mm -hmm. one place in Antigua Cucatlán. Do they offer delivery? I don't know. No, but in, in Metro Centro, you can, you can find. I only know Metro Centro. I, uh... Because remember that delivery is also included in place. So if they offer delivery or not, okay. If it is only one place, okay. Just put that one. And then move on to the next letter P, that it will be promotion. You have only one more minute, so hurry up, please. How do you say one? Okay, one, one place to sell. Sucursal? How do you say sucursal? One place. Sucursal? Oh, no. One. One, one place. I I don't know how to say. Okay, if you want to say sucursal, you can say branch. Branch. Uh, branch. I'm sending it on uh, in the chat. Branch. That is mm -hmm. sucursal. Okay. Branch. Mm -hmm. And in promotion. Promotion and Facebook. It's the offer page. season. Okay. Seasonal offers. And what else do you say? Facebook and page. Ah, Facebook advertisement. Mm hmm. Okay. That's it. Yes. Teacher Hector want to know who say um, boca and boca? M mouth or mouth? <laughs> Cuando se promociona algo, pero... Teacher, my phone is I'm so sorry, my microphone was off. So you mean when you transmit the message? Yes. Como cuando van mm -hmm. Okay, you can say by word of mouth. I'm sending it in the chat too. By word of mouth. Word of mouth. Uh, okay. Mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's go back to the main room team. All right, time's up. Let's go back. Time's up, time's up. All right, let's see. Well, we are going to wait for everyone. There are some people still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. All right. Let's see. How was the practice, everyone? Was it easy or difficult? Uh -huh. 
50-50, okay. I was listening to some groups, a lot of people talking, I love that. Did you listen to any words in Spanish or full English? Uh huh. Not Spanish, right? Nah, we don't talk in Spanish anymore. Okay, we are going to present the information, but I think that we are not going to have enough time for all the teams. So the teams that cannot pass today are going to present tomorrow. So please keep the information. Don't forget what you get, okay? Don't forget the information. Before that, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So everybody, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, let's start with Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Christian Alexander. Yes, Okay, Erika Jasmin. Okay, very good. Fatima Aguilar. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Okay, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present yes. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Escobar. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Uh, Lucy Juarez. Present. Excellent. Magdaleno Escalante. Present, teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present. Excellent. Uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Very good. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you uh, for the ones who didn't answer. I read the chat, so don't worry. Okay. Now, um, we don't have time, everyone. Así que I think that the best idea is to everybody pass tomorrow. Okay, so because we don't have like enough time to present the information. So keep the information. Para mañana no quiero que, ay, I forgot teacher, I'm sorry. No, come on, keep the information. Okay, so tomorrow all the teams will present. Remember that I will ask you one by one. So for example, if in the team that are for people, so one of you is going to explain each letter P, okay? Don't forget about it. Now, just remember to work on the platform. We are in the week number two. Something important, and I'm going to explain this in one minute, and then you are free. Remember that in the week number two, you are going to have the midterm exam. So that is the first evaluation. So in this week, you have to finish the homework, the exercises, and also the exam. So if you haven't finished the unit number one, please, you have to run because you have to finish unit number one, unit two, and then the exam. Okay, so for this week, we have a lot of things to do. But remember, what will happen next week? Uh huh. Vacation. Ah, very good. Yeah. We, will, we will are on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Hi there, hi there. So, <laughs> be responsible, okay? Be responsible or I will give you extra homework. Do you want extra homework for holidays? No. No, 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 no right? No, no. Okay, no. so be responsible. Work on the platform. Now, before leaving, solo Gabriel Beltran se queda. Please, no se vaya a ir. And the rest of you, everybody, have a good night. Go okay. and relax good and night. see you tomorrow. Good night, good night everyone. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, -bye. See Bye, -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good tomorrow. night. See you. Bye-bye, teacher. Goodbye, goodbye. Solo Gabriel se queda, please. Goodbye, everyone. Good night, good night. Hello. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? Um. 
little little sick, right? Yeah. Yes. Um. I last week was very difficult. I could I could I couldn't respira. I'm sorry. Respira. Breathe. Breathe. Oh my god. I couldn't speak and very strong. Yeah, I imagine, and but it is is fever. 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 But fever. it is not COVID, is it? Um parecido más que fuera como con Kitties. Ah, no okay. tenía nada de voz. Nada, yeah, nada. Yeah, I imagine. Very serious, <clears throat> but you are taking medicine, right? Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, Gabriel, this moment is just to answer some questions that you may have about the class or about the topics or about the program or the platform. So this moment is for you. So any questions that you may have, you can tell me and I will explain. Okay. So tell me any question. Hmm. or something that you didn't understand. It can be about the class that we had today or about the topics that we studied last week. Yeah, go ahead. demás. El conocimiento de inglés que tengo es solamente que lo que llevamos con mi sapor, mi conocimiento. Entonces me cuesta bastante como entender eh, porque conozco palabras, frases uh -huh. y no, no tengo bien claro cómo armar una oración para responder eso. Okay. Es lo que me está costando más. Eh, más que tuve una semana bien difícil, pues me hubiera gustado empezar. Viví en medio de las clases y me parecieron bien dinámicas, interesantes. Eh, ojalá si pueda continuar. Yeah, no se desanime. Vaya, uh, I had a question. Cuando yo explico la clase eh, logra entenderlo, es decir, porque aquí tenemos que ver dos cosas, tanto el listening, speaking y el vocabulary. So, empecemos con el listening, cuando yo explico, doy las instrucciones de lo que tienen que hacer, ¿usted me entiende? ¿Logra eso entender sí la lo indicación? Entender. Eso sí, lo, yo sí logro entender a, a dónde vamos, qué es lo que quiere, qué ah. es lo que entender. Perfect, perfect. Eso es bueno. Llevamos un plus ahí. Ok, vamos con el listening. Ok, eh, bueno, el listening vamos bien porque me logra entender las instructions. Excellent. Ahora vamos con un poquito de speaking. Me dice que le cuesta como formular las oraciones. Sí. Entonces, básicamente, si yo le hago una pregunta, sí me entiende la pregunta, pero como que le costaría un poquito responderla. Sí. Sí. Ok, bien. Vamos con el vocabulary. ¿Qué siente que le cuesta más? Cuando hacemos una oración, ¿le cuesta la estructura? Es decir, ¿dónde voy a poner las palabras? ¿O sí. le cuesta el hecho de que no sabe cómo decir las palabras en inglés? Me cuesta... Sí me cuesta un poco cómo ubicar las palabras, pero también me cuesta eh, cómo decirlas. Como que no hallamos la palabra, cómo decirlo en inglés. Ajá. Okay. Inclusive, inclusive cómo comenzarla. Uh -huh. eh, a veces tengo que contestar algo, eh, me cuesta comenzar. A, para comenzar no hay la palabra ideal, cosa, sí, ese no, no. Uh -huh. Son cositas todavía. Es difícil, I know, I know. Uh -huh. And usted no es el único, créame, no se desmotive porque no es el único que está en esa situación. Right? Alguno de sus classmates también les pasa lo mismo. Right? Simplemente lo están intentando. Algunos, si usted se fija, participan y tal vez la estructura de sus oraciones no están bien formuladas. Right? They put the words in, in, in the incorrect order. 
but oh. they are trying. So my recommendation, uh, Gabriel, keep it simple. Mantengámoslo simple. Estructura de la oración, subject, verb, complement. Mantengamos, cuando usted responda, siempre trate de tener en mente esa estructura. Sí. Subject, verb, complement. Okay. Si le va a agregar más palabras, perfect, no problem, pero mantengamos este orden. So, for example, imagine if I ask you, eh, okay, Gabriel, um, what is the meaning of product? What is that? What is the product? Okay, ¿cómo vamos a responder? Okay, subject, the product, mm -hmm. luego necesito un verbo, the product is, then the complement. Ta, 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 ta. Y ahí me dice alguna palabra para colocar el complement. Ok, the product is the cell phone, for example. And the product is, in, and you start talking. Ok, another example. Imagine if I ask you, ok, Gabriel, eh, what did you do during the weekend? Respondemos. Ah, I went to my sister's house, for example. Okay, so si se fija, subject, yes. Mm -hmm. Verb, yes. Complement, yes. Now, que se nos olvida o no sabemos cómo decir ciertas palabras, totally normal. A todos nos pasa. So ahorita lo que tenemos que hacer es aventarnos. Si no sabemos cómo decir una palabra, so tell me y yo le voy a ayudar. Muchos de sus compañeros me van a mitad de la oración y no saben cómo decir la siguiente palabra. So, no worries. Tell me para que yo le diga cómo se dice. ¿Ok? And little by little, we will be learning new vocabulary. ¿Ok? So, the most important para que aprendamos hay que practicar. Así que mientras estemos aquí en la clase, no tenga miedo de participar, no tenga miedo de, de hablarlo. Cuando esté en los breaking rooms, usted hable, right? No, no tenga miedo de equivocarse, ¿ok? And that is the way. Así es como vamos a ir aprendiendo, practicándolo, ¿ok? Very good. Now, eh, no tenemos más tiempo, but eh, the only observation, yo sé que ha estado muy mal de salud, y de verdad espero que se logre recuperar por completo. Um, cuando ya esté bastante mejor de salud, Gabriel, sí le voy a pedir que avancemos en lo que es la plataforma. Porque en la plataforma sí vamos como que bastante atrasados. No me ha trabajado nada. Realmente atrasado. Ya, yeah, I know, yo sé, yo sé. Así que... Eh, cuando ya se sienta mejor, empecemos a trabajar en la plataforma. Recuerde que vamos a tener una semana de vacación, así que espero que ahí se pueda poner al día. Para que no se atrase, recuerde que la plataforma sí es, es obligación. ¿Ok? Cuando tenga preguntas sobre algún ejercicio, si no lo entiende, puede enviarlo en el grupo, tome un screenshot o escriba cuál es el ejercicio en el que tiene dudas y así le vamos a poder ayudar. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. I don't know if you have any other question or comments antes de irnos. Um, no. No. Uh, agradecido nada más. We are here to help you. Así que no se me desanime. Don't give up. Y ya va a ver. Poquito a poquito vamos a ir aprendiendo. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Okay, Gabriel, let's stop here. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night.